Holy cow, guys, that Nintendo Direct was amazing. So many good games, and it's just a lot to process. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys my reaction and overall thoughts on the Nintendo Direct. So that being said, let's get into the video. Alrighty, so this Direct started with a banger in my opinion. A banger. Let me put here. I'm there. So yeah, the first game for this Nintendo Direct is a Mario and Luigi game. I cannot tell you guys how hyped I'm excited for this. I love the Mario and Luigi series. I've always talked about this on my channel and I actually have a video that's solely dedicated to Mario and Luigi and all the games in the series. So I was pretty hyped when I realized that it was actually a Mario and Luigi game. I was so excited, mainly because I thought Mario and Luigi was dead because Alpha Dream filed for bankruptcy and to a lot of people that might be yeah they're probably not making games but then i realized that nintendo probably bought alpha dream and i've been hearing here or there that alpha dream was bought off by monolith soft which is epic i love monolith soft i was just overjoyed with the new mario and luigi game it looks gorgeous now it does look a little bit weird because it's on the switch but overall it just looks fantastic i don't really know much about the story but it's looking really really good and the gameplay has a traditional bro moves which i love so so much this mario and luigi game is called mario and luigi brothership now i don't know what the brothership means and i'm very excited to see more trailers and footage of this game also this game does come out in 2024 so this year we're gonna get a new mario and luigi game that's really really wild but yeah i can't sit here and talk about only mario and luigi we gotta go on to the other games now the next game that they covered was fairy tale 2 which is a sequel to the original fairy tale game now I used to love fairy tale when I was growing up but the ending was so bad that I just hate it now and same goes for the games I never really played the games I do have one for my PlayStation now this fairy tale game is looking to be an RPG like one kind of how one piece did it with one piece Odyssey I think they're trying to go for that kind of feel so whoever's excited for it I am glad but I don't really like fairy tale anymore sadly enough now the next game is Fantasian now this game was made by Sagaguchi and if that name sounds familiar it's because he created the original Final Fantasy games Fantasian seems like a very traditional RPG fantasy game it gives me that harvest Stella kind of vibe when it comes to the graphics. It looked really, really good, very, very clean. I'm not too sure about the game though. I would have to see more trailers to actually know what the game is about. But overall, it looked really, really promising. Now, this game was originally a mobile game, which, ouch, I do not like mobile games. But honestly, if they put the microtransactions out of the way, I'm willing to try a game that used to be a mobile game. Speaking of mobile games, they did announce Hello Kitty Island Adventure. I'm actually really excited for this one though i don't blame any of you guys if you're not into this one the next game is pharmagia now this game might sound familiar mostly because it was shown in the marvelous direct i didn't really know it was there but it was a nice surprise it looks really really good and promising and i love how it utilizes like this pikmin mechanic where you send your little pikmin people to defeat the enemies that's pretty cool the next game is a donkey Kong returns hd now this one's probably gonna be a full-blown 60 dollars and i hate that nintendo can we get remakes and remasters that are 40 or even 50 please but about the game this game is finally being put on the switch a lot of fans really wanted this game it's one of the best in the series i've heard so a lot of people are excited for this not me mostly because i suck at donkey kong game but i'm happy for the donkey kong fans out there Next on the list is Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D. Now we've known of this for a while, mostly because Square Enix has told us with the whole 38th anniversary of Dragon Quest. And plus they showed it a while ago in some direct, I don't really know. But in this direct, we got an actual date and we also got a longer look into the game and it's looking really, really fun. I am so excited. I've honestly only played Dragon Quest 11, so I'm really excited to get more invested into Dragon Quest because I've heard it's very popular especially in Japan and I do love the side games so I'm really excited for this HD 2D remake of the original three Dragon Quest games. Now oddly enough Dragon Quest 3 comes first but I've heard that 3 is actually a prequel so that does make sense to have 3 first and then 1 and 2. 
Now Dragon Quest 3 comes out in 2024 and then Dragon Quest 1 and 2 comes out the next year. And even though the Switch is very underpowered, I'm sure it will look stunning on the Switch, especially with an OLED Switch. Next one is Denpa Man. Now this one looks really, really weird. I don't have much to say, mainly because I'm not really that interested. And someone in the chat pointed out that it kind of looks like Teletubbies. And instead of the weird faces, they use actual faces. I'm not really sure how I feel about this game. I would definitely want to see more trailers about it to really get a grip on what the heck is going on. But it is an RPG and I love quirky games, so I'm willing to give it a try. Next game is Phantom Brave The Lost Hero. Now this game was made by the creators of the Desaiga series and I kind of called it out on the live stream when I'm like, is this Desaiga? Because it has the same feel. But basically, it's from the creators of Desaiga, but it's not a Desaiga game. Now I do love the graphics of this game. The chibi art style is so adorable and I love it. And it has a more tactical gameplay to it, which is really, really cool. Overall, I'm looking forward to hearing more about this game. Next on the list is Mario Party Jamboree. Now, I did put a prediction in my video that there's going to be a Mario Party game, and I was right. Now, Jamboree is looking like a whole new entity and not really part of the old games like Mario Party Superstars. It's more in the Super Mario Party format. And there's also new Mario Party boards for the game. And it looks like there's a lot of courses to choose from because because in Mario Party Superstars, there was like, what, four? But in this game, there seems to be a lot of variety when it comes to the courses, which I do like. And there's all new mini games as well. Though we do get maps from older Mario Party games as a throwback. And plus, unique to this game is the inclusion of a 20 player multiplayer game session. Nintendo Online is not known for the best online. So I'm not really sure how it's going to work, but I'm excited to try it out. It's looking like a very good Mario Party game and I can't wait to play it on stream with you guys that would be really really fun now the next game nobody prepared me for this kind of game it came out of nowhere and it's honestly the best game in the whole direct now instead of telling you how excited i was and stuff i'm just gonna go show you my live reaction to this oh a 2d zelda game which one though Link to the past? It's probably Link to the past. Oh my god! They're using the... The graphics from... The other Zelda game. Which one is it? Is it a new one? It could be a new one. He had the Breath of the Wild thing though. You could play a Zelda? Bro, you don't know how that. You don't know the implications of this. <gasps> it's her own game? Is it? Is it? Oh my gosh, she gets her. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom! She gets her own game! Let's go! Whoa. So yeah, Zelda is getting her own game. This is huge, guys. This is really huge. Now, I did predict that there was going to be a Zelda game. Now, I was thinking more like a remaster or a remake of an older game, but not in a million years did I think Zelda, the character, was getting her own game. It was not on my bingo board. It was not on anyone's bingo board, I bet. And I'm so happy that I live in this timeline where Zelda gets her own game. To put this in perspective, guys, Zelda has never been a playable character well, apart from Spirit Tracks a little bit, but she's never been a playable character in a mainline Zelda game. Now, she's the only playable character in a mainline Zelda game. That is so wild and I love it. Now, this is no hate to Link. I like Link. He's been my bro for many, many years, but I'm really excited for Zelda to get her time to shine. She's basically getting the Princess Peach treatment and it's so deserved. And I haven't even gotten to what the game's about and I'm already just like gushing about it. So the game is made in the same engine as Link's Awakening. So it has that little toy graphics to it, which I loved in Link's Awakening. But this time we get to control Zelda herself and she uses a wand to do most of her attacks. Now, I was gushing throughout the whole thing so I probably didn't get all the details, but her attacks look kind of like 
what the Sheikah Slate is in Breath of the Wild. I could be wrong on that. And Zelda herself is going on a journey to save Link and help her kingdom. Now she is tagged by a fairy. I forgot the name, but she seems like a Navi type of fairy that helps Zelda along the way. And it's looking like a fun adventure. Now the whole title of this game is The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, which is very fitting because Zelda is the holder of the Triforce of Wisdom. So the name is very fitting and I can't wait. Though I do wonder where the heck are they going to throw this on the timeline? I'm not a big component of the timeline, but I know a lot of people are and I'm just curious on where does it fall on the timeline. The next game is something very exciting as well and that is for the Ace Attorney Investigations Collection. I am so hyped about it because I love the great Ace Attorney trilogy and I'm right now playing the Apollo trilogy and now I get to play the Investigation Collection. Capcom is at it again with this new Ace Attorney Collection. In this game you get to play as Miles Edgeworth. He is very iconic and loved in the Ace Attorney fandom for a lot of good reasons but mostly he's just a good character all around and low-key I love how Capcom has been remaking all of their Ace Attorney games. I love to see it. And with the release of the Investigation Collection, I think that wraps it up on all the Ace Attorney games that need to be ported to the Switch. And they're probably going to work on a new Ace Attorney game. Probably. I'm not really too sure on that. Now the next game is the 100 Line Last Defense Academy. What a mouthful. Now if the art looks familiar, it should because it's the art from Dangarapa games and Renko games. So as soon as I saw that, I thought it was a Dangarapa game just because of the art but it's not. Now this one looks to be a tactical RPG. I didn't really see much so I can't really say for sure though. But the plot line is a lot like the Dangarampa games mainly because the characters are trapped in a school setting but instead of killing each other they have to defend the school. I don't really know much about this game but I kind of want to know more so I'm excited to see any trailers that come out in the future. Now the big one lasting announcement from the Nintendo Direct is Metroid Prime 4, which is wild. We've been wanting Metroid Prime 4 for about like seven years, so it was really, really overdue. Overall, the game looks amazing. Now, I'm not a big Metroid fan. I do enjoy the games and I did enjoy Metroid Dread, but I'm not that big of a fan. I'm just a casual fan, but I'm really excited for all the diehard fans out there who've been waiting for Metroid Prime 4. It looks amazing. It has the same first person perspective that a lot of people love in the Prime game. Now I'm not too sure about the story but it's looking very very nice and hopefully it's the game that all Metroid fans were waiting for. So that was my overall thoughts on the Nintendo Direct. If I were to give it a score it would be a 9 out of 10. I felt like they really took advantage of the 40 minutes and gave us a lot of hype announcements. Tell me in the comments below, did you guys enjoy the Direct? What games were you hyped about? What games that you thought were mid? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear it. Please like this video if you like and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed for more content like this. You can follow me on my socials in the description down below. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day and as always, play a good game. Peace, peace.